guys, it's Jennifer Priest, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a couple different ice cream cone themed ornaments to make your very own upside down ice cream cone Christmas tree. My friends at Treetopia sent us this upside down Christmas tree and two sets of rainbow glass ornaments, and they challenged us. They asked us to make an ice cream inspired summer Christmas tree. Now that is a big challenge because this Christmas tree is green. It looks like a Christmas tree. I was like, okay, how can we make this fun and summery and not look like a Christmas tree? We decided, okay, we're gonna take the rainbow theme. We're actually gonna make it look like rainbow on the tree itself. And then we decided, okay, the glass ornaments look great, but it needs something else. So we made some ice cream inspired ornaments. The first ornament that we made is with straws. Now these are Ikea straws tied together with a chenille stem or pipe cleaner. And I got this idea from Aunt Peaches a couple years ago. She shared the tutorial for how to make these on her site. I'm gonna show you how I made them here, um, but I'll also put a link to her blog post down in the description so you can go check out hers. Her tree looks super cool too. The other ornament that we made were these little ice cream cones. And this is a yarn pom-pom, and then I made the little cone part at the bottom with a piece of felt that I cut into a circle. So I'm also gonna show you guys how to make those. Now the other thing I wanna show you guys is the tree skirt, okay? At summertime, there's tons of like cool summer stuff in the stores, and we found a rainbow striped tablecloth that's for an umbrella patio table. So that means it has a circle in the middle and actually a zipper, so you could just put it around your tree as a tree skirt and zip it, and it looks great. The other thing is you can repurpose it and use it again as a tablecloth. So I love to find things where they have more than one use. So like just a tree skirt, you can only use it for a tree skirt, but using a tablecloth as a tree skirt totally is awesome because now you can use that as a tablecloth when you're done with your Christmas tree. So let's get started with this Christmas in July rainbow ice cream themed Christmas tree right now. So the first thing you'll do is cut a six inch square of tan felt and cut the corners off to make it a round circle. Next put a bead of hot glue on a quarter of the circle and then roll it up like a waffle cone. Now you'll want to set this aside to cool. While that's cooling, use a pom-pom maker and some yarn to make yarn pom-poms. Now, this pom-pom maker is from Clover and I've linked it down in the description and also on the blog post for this project. It's super easy. It looks like it's not gonna work, but it totally does. You wanna wrap the yarn really, really tight and fill up each side of the pom-pom maker really, really full. Once you have the yarn all filled, you're going to cut along the groove uh, between the two sides of the pom-pom maker to cut all the pieces of yarn apart. Now you don't want to take it apart at this point, just cut and keep it all together. Next, you're going to take a piece of yarn, wrap it around that groove that's right there in the middle of the pom-pom maker and tie it tight. Now I like to tie it two to four times, um, you know, make a square knot. Once that's done, you're going to flip the sides of the pom-pom maker out, split it apart and then fluff it. Once you've fluffed it, you'll use the scissors to trim any weird parts of the pom-pom that are poking out, and then you're gonna use an ornament hook through that piece of yarn that you tied around the middle of the pom-pom to hold it all together, and then cut the long strings um, of yarn away. Next, put some hot glue in your ice cream cone, fluff your pom-pom, and stick it inside and let it dry. Next, you'll cut a chenille stem in half, and then take eight drinking straws, and these are bendy straws, so you wanna make sure they're kind of facing opposite directions. Wrap the chenille stem around the middle and twist it really, really, really tight. Now to get it super tight, you can use a pair of pliers to really twist it good. Um, cut one of the ends of the chenille stem off. We're gonna save the other end to make the loop, and then you're going to just kind of bend and press the straws to make a starburst shape. Once you have the desired shape, again, bend that extra piece of chenille stem into a loop. Next, you wanna to put together the upside down Christmas tree from Treetopia. All of the pieces are numbered, so it makes it super easy to put together. Just one, two, three, four. It just snaps right in place. As you're going, you'll want to start fluffing out the different pieces of the tree and also plug in all the pieces together. So this is a a pre-lit tree so you need to plug each level into each other. Once it's all fluffed and lit you can go ahead and add your ornaments.
Isn't the tree and all those ornaments super fun? Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more DIY tutorials like this and you can always go to our site smartfundiy.com to see hundreds of fun tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye!